Hi YouTubers, it's going to be video now, so video now, so please talk about something important. So uh, I'm a little bit late to the party talking about this, but I want to talk about it anyway. So uh, I want to talk about this comment that's going around YouTube everywhere. So uh, most commonly this is known as vom.in.net. Now I'm a little bit late talking about this, people have been talking about this for the last uh, 10 weeks, tw 12 weeks or so, uh, and basically I want to talk about this crap right now. Uh, now what is vom.in.net? Now, initially, you might hear the word vom, and you might think of vomit. It actually has nothing to do with that. So what this comment basically is, is it is a spam bot that is everywhere around YouTube right now. You will see this comment, uh, not necessarily vom.in.net, but you will see different varieties of it. You will see vor.in.net, bed.in.net, vol.fyi, vol.mbta, all kinds of crap. So, and what this comment basically is, it's actually not a comment in general, it's a link. So it's a link, and we all know how bad links are, especially if you don't know where they come from, where they fucking come from. So basically this takes you to a hookup website. So it's a hookup website that you go to, and I want to monetize this video, so I'm gonna be as least descriptive as possible with the kind of content that it promotes. So take it for what it's worth. So you click on this link, which you should never do in the first place because number one, it's a scam, and number two, um, you don't wanna be clicking on links, especially if you don't have a VPN on, especially if you don't, you're not using a virtual machine, especially if you're just using a standard desktop or iPhone, that kind of crap, you know, this kind of crap. So first off, if you get this comment in general, uh, delete it. Uh, delete it, block it, report it. Uh, don't interact with the bot at all uh, because it is a bot. It may say, uh, you know, Joe Smo. It may say, uh, you know, Evan whatever, you know, this kind of crap, you know, uh, but it's a bot. So it's not a real person. Um, it's not like a real salesperson who's advertising uh, their hookup website. Uh, no. So first off, don't interact with it at all. Uh, delete it block it, report it, etc., etc. Now, if you do click on the link, or if you're somebody who is doing one of these documentary videos uh, showing what the link is, most people use a virtual private network, which is a VPN, or they use, for example, uh, a virtual machine. So some type of super added firewall to prevent viruses, to prevent um, hacking, this kind of stuff. Because what people don't realize is when you click on a link, uh, even if you just click off immediately, you could still potentially get a Trojan, which is a virus, not a condom, <laughs> big ass your life. And uh, you could also uh, get hacked just by clicking on a link, especially if you're doing it on Windows. So you want to be damn careful. I mean, damn, damn, damn careful. So you want to be fucking careful. Um, so say you did click on the link with a VPN on, or you click on the link for whatever reason. Uh, basically, what it's going to take you to is I've never done it before. I mean, I would never click on the link before in a million years because, number one, I know it's a scam. And number two, I wouldn't want to risk my damn computer, my, you know, my fucking computer. So it's like no way in hell would I do that. So... I can't say from personal experience, you know, but I've seen other people do it, you know, there's a couple of people who have done it uh, with a VPN or a virtual machine, enough dilly-dallying, and basically it'll take you to this website where there will be some nudity, you know, there'll be some, you know, pornographic material, and um, you'll have some, you know, hot girls, you know, hot babes, you know, showing their, displaying their, you know, what's, you know, it's like, you know, all that kind of crap, so, I mean, everyone has seen whatever, so, and... So you'll go to this website and it'll basically say, before we can show you hot stuff, quote unquote hot stuff, you know, uh, we have to ask a few questions. And then basically it'll ask you a series of questions um, like, you know, it'll say something along the lines of like, you know, many of these women are desperate single moms, cheating wives. Uh, these women only want a, you know, kind of like a hookup. They just want to have sex. They don't want to look, look for a long-term relationship. And you must be thinking to yourself, like, what the hell is this about? You know, what the hell is this about? And then they might say something like along the lines of, have you had an STD or do you use a condom, this and that? So, and then, you actually, you know, and they might say, how old are you? Which you don't want to be giving out that kind of information, that kind of bullshit to begin with. So, I mean, BS can be BS, but you don't want to be giving out that kind of information to a random website. And uh, especially date of birth, social security number, uh, you never want to be giving that crap out. So, uh, and um, so then it'll take you to a website. There's a number of websites it can take you to. Um, a couple of them, I can't use the names. Well, I won't use the names in general because uh, I don't want to be promoting this kind of crap to begin with. Uh, 
So uh, they're just basically, they call them hookup websites. And basically, obviously you'll have, you know, more typical, you know, nudity. You'll have, you know, girls, you know, displaying themselves, all that kind of crap, you know, this kind of crap. And um, then basically, you'll you'll usually um be able to or you'll you'll go to the you'll go to the web sorry i'm just blanking here um you'll be on the website and basically it'll say like okay you have a hundred coins which are or credits you know uh and you can message people on this website and basically once you use up your two um messages then it will ask you for credit card information or debit card information and this is how they get you and you might be thinking to yourself oh it's a real person i'm talking to it's like a real dating website this is like eHarmony or like you know match.com or cougar life or you know lava life which are dating websites first off i don't want to um bash dating websites at all I don't want to come off as a dick, you know, but first off, online dating to begin with is a total, I'm not going to say scam, but I want to be careful here, but your, your chance of meeting somebody online and, you know, happily marrying, you know, ever after, you know, you know, you know, meeting your girlfriend online, you know, and, you know, having kids, all that kind of crap, you know, this kind of shit, you know, is very, very unlikely. So online dating is kind of a, a, a scam to begin with. So um, there are some more trustworthy, you know, quote unquote, trustworthy websites, but none of them really are, are great. Even the ones you see on TV a lot, like eHarmony and uh, Match.com are really kind of, I don't want to say scams because I don't want them to flag this video, but you get the point. So um, yeah, they're not really even like, you know, but certainly like this vom.in.net or vor.in.net or bed.in.net, not even close to legitimate. So and how they're going to get you is they're going to say, okay, you've used up your two messages, which is 50 coins each, and now we want you to pay, I don't know, like five bucks for two messages or 10 bucks for four messages or so on and so on. And you might be, you know, tempted to em enter your, you know, your debit card information because you have this, you know, this hot girl with big boobs, you know, who's messaging you and saying, hey, baby, you know, hey, baby, you know, I want to, you know, flirt with you, you know, maybe you live near me, maybe we can hook up, you know, maybe we can, you know, go to my place, you know, and you might be thinking like, wow, like, you know, this is a real girl who lives near me, you know, all that kind of crap, you know, this kind of shit, you know, and what it actually is, if you Google these hookup websites, and you actually search, you know, I'll just make up a name off the top of my head. You know, if you search, you know, what is, you know, efucker.com, uh, it might say, um, the first thing that's going to come up on Google search, and yes, I use the F word, is, is um, E-F-er is a scam. Because all these hookup websites, these vom.in or vor.in or bed.in or vol.in or whatever lead to are total scams. People think, I got a comment today from somebody thinking, oh, it's leading you to a legitimate dating website like, you know, match.com or eHarmony or Lava Life or Cougar Life or Chris and Mingle, like one of those big dating websites. That is complete bullshit. Complete, utter BS. These are not dating websites you see advertised on Channel 4 or Channel 2 or Channel 7, wherever you live. That's kind of crap. You know, that's kind of crap. What they are advertised for is these fake phishing websites where basically, essentially, you, you know, you enter, you get two free clicks, generally, two free clicks. And then they want, you know, like five bucks for, you know, every two more clicks or, you know, a hundred bucks for, you know, 15 free clicks. And you're not chatting with real people. That's the biggest thing is people think, oh, like, you know, sexy girl, you know, tattoos, you know, beautiful blue hair, you know, big boobs, all that kind of crap, you know, you know, no, these are, these are not real people. These are robots you're chatting with. These are automated robots. And people might say, well, how the hell, you know, how the hell could robots, you know, say like, you know, hey, beautiful, how are you doing today? You know, how handsome, how are you doing today? And the reason is because 
these websites program these robots, or they, or most likely, most likely, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm making an assumption here, they program these robots to, start to talk a certain way. So the bottom line is, after rambling on for ten full minutes, is do not fall for this crap. It's like you're not being taken to a real dating website. As I've said before, and as other people have said on YouTube, if you're looking for actual online dating, if you want to take the chance, the chance on online dating, you're actually safer, it's much safer to go on Google and type in, you know, best, you know, online, you know, dating websites, and that's actually a lot safer. I still think online dating is total BS to begin with. It's total BS and your likelihood of, you know, meeting your soulmate and, and living happily ever after is very, 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 very unlikely. I'm sure people are going to say in the comments, oh, I met my soulmate, you know, on eHarmony or my soulmate on Christian, Christian Mingle or something like that, that kind of crap, you know, this kind of crap, you know, and I'm sure it's happened before, you know, but I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's very unlikely. Um, so, but you're actually much safer, you know, if you're looking for... If you're looking for, um, you know, online dating, you're better off, you know, using one of the more reliable websites like Match or eHarmony on Google. I mean, you still, it's still kind of a scam to begin with, but you get the point. So, uh, and same goes with pornography. And I mean, I'm not going to encourage this too much, you know, because of YouTube's terms of service. But if you're looking for fancy or you know, crude or lewd images, you're actually a lot safer off. I mean, obviously I'm not liable if anything happens to your computer. Uh, I'm not liable, so, and definitely be over 18. That's another thing. You wanna be damn careful if you wanna be over 18. Is you're safe, honestly, with online dating and pornography, you're safer off doing it on Google, especially like Google Images. So, uh, it's like these vor.in.net or vom.in.net. People think, oh, these are legitimate dating websites. These are legitimate hookup websites. And the answer is that complete, that's complete bullshit. So, uh, I mean, BS can be BS, but this is total BS. This is total bullshit. So, uh, anyway, that's all I wanted to say is do not fall for these websites. Do not fall for vom.in.net. Do not fall for any of its varieties. And there's other varieties. There's a whole 18, you know, XYZ cameras. It's the same crap, you know. And there used to be comments, you know, about, you know, six months ago, nine months ago, going around YouTube, you know, with links like crazy girls or hot teens, you know, and they take you to the same website. So the bottom line is links on YouTube they are not taking you to legitimate dating websites. These are not legitimate dating websites. Links like crazy girls or crazy effer, you know, they're not taking you to the same kind of websites that a link on Google would take you to, to like match.com. So that's all I want to say. Anyway, bye. Pretty freaking cool.